Supreme being, Supreme everyone. Supreme being. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And first of all, we already announced that we're gonna uh, go live on um, Saturday. Saturday. What day is the Saturday? That's actually tomorrow. So that's the 26th of August. <laughs> and we will be going live 1 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So take a look what that means for your zone. If you would GMT. like. Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to join us, we'll be happy. Uh, we will answer some questions. We will see, but we will also have a topic. Yes. And we are here to discuss uh, about it a little bit. Just uh, to mention uh it so what is our topic uh twin flames in the 3d but it's much more vast than what you're thinking right because we are constantly speaking about transitioning to the 5d and stuff like this but uh the fact is that uh we are not quite settled even in the 3d so to make this transition it is absolutely essential we manage everything in the 3d we are very far from being settled in the 3D. It looks like uh, it's too simple, but um, we actually overcomplicated everything. So we need right. some adjustment. Exactly. There's a lot of interference in this world uh, from different entities, forces, whatever. And this amended things to an extent that it is not controllable anymore. But of course we can reverse it. That's the best part. Yes. We can always do that. <laughs> Just like we can always make a progress on our twin flame relationship. And uh, even if we have to start over uh, in order to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, making progress on your twin flame relationship is not impossible. I know many of you feel that you are stuck because you are in separation. Uh, the one is chasing the other most probably uh, or the one has disappeared completely but uh, making progress is always possible uh, we are actually here on earth to make progress all the time and uh, if we don't move we are dead we are not living so making progress on your uh, twin flame relationship um, is is almost your obligation. It has to continue, and uh, it is uh, it can be done in one or another day. This doesn't mean you have to go and to start, you know, uh, trying to call or message your two flame all the time until they totally are <laughs> <laughs> not down annoyed. Um, there's many other ways. We have spoken about this. Um, there are many other channels speaking about it as well. Uh, you know uh, best what is to do in your own occasion, of course. Uh, I know that we lose our way many times. It's um, always like a, a way of interference of the mind. The mind uh, uh, really can make us step out of what we are supposed to do. But yes, I want to speak about the that one of the things because now she's speaking about progress, and the majority of this world uh, knows what progress is because you guys uh, know that you have to uh, like every day go to your work or uh, fix, let's say, your garden or fix your relationship or something like this. But having something to do before this happens, we need to understand uh, each other. And a good portion of this world has a lot of energy to do all these things, but another portion of this world does not. So you might be yeah. one, one of the partner uh, from the relationship couple uh, that has a lot of energy, but uh, your counterpart, or maybe it's you, uh, doesn't have... I mean, you have energy, but you cannot well, that's apply... that's very important what you're saying. Maybe. You cannot apply this energy, even though you have energy. It's, uh, it's horrible. You have energy, you cannot apply. The other person has energy. I mean, maybe it doesn't have much energy, but knows how to apply. And in this case, we have this. And uh, there's many people who have this as well. And the majority of the world um, knows how to do things as, as long as they are told what to do. 
and um, unfortunately in the twin flame journey we don't have like a, a guide uh, or a map what do we have to do first and next and mm -hmm. stuff so we are just almost like lost and left uh, on our own and it's very important to remember that you're, you're not alone and uh, you have to do things not according to the mind but the gut feeling because i'm talking to the same person if you have uh, laziness i'm pretty sure you're gonna have strong gut feeling because <laughs> you know where it is right well yeah <laughs> <laughs> without going too, too deep we already know a person who is more lazy but not lazy like I, I should remove this word and or alter it because exhausted because I don't consider Cement is exhausted yes exhausted uh, I'm not saying that one of you from the relationship will be lazy I'm saying that one of you will um, run uh, things more efficiently if they are told what to do but on the twin flame journey nobody knows what to do um, you think you know but ends up making things worse or making things better depends how you guys run so i'm just letting you know that uh, uh, in order for this to be overcome you need to listen to more of your inner uh, voice in this case the mind is not gonna help you very much because in the world we live in uh, you need to listen to the orders and to the what you're told, which is the mind, in order to do your job very well. But in the twin film journey, nobody's telling you what to do. I mean, yes, you're watching our videos and other YouTube channels about relationships and stuff like this, but it differs for each uh, couple. Mm -hmm. You cannot get advice from... Uh, one advice does not fit all. Mm -hmm. So Whatever advice we give you or somebody else is not going to fulfill uh, your relationship a hundred percent because uh, each journey is unique and uh, i'm very glad of what you said because in our case for example i'm a projector i don't have my own energy i very much in our relationship depend on what energy level andrew will have wow energy level and uh, <laughs> if he doesn't have a good energy level we both go down it's very difficult my positivity is very big but it also has limits uh, and um, maybe you have something similar in your case and if you try to see through it uh, maybe you will see your relationship in a totally different way i have an, a very powerful example which is very primal and basic but it's gonna help uh, to understand uh, for example uh, we need to make food to eat, right? She knows how to make fire. I don't, but I have the firewood, okay? And she will make the fire for us to, to cook our meal and eat uh, according to the firewood. But if the firewood is wet and soggy, which means I'm depressed or I don't have energy, uh -huh. she will not be able to make the food and no. will be starving. And we'll stay hungry. Yeah, but as soon as we fix ourselves, my, my firewood will become dry and she'll be able to make the food but exactly. she cannot make the food without me and i cannot i don't know how to make fire so something like and this. by the way andre's uh, book is very much based on this on how to restore ourselves because we cannot move on in anything including the twin flame uh, relationship and connecting with your twin flame uh, if we haven't restored this exhaustion and this exhaustion comes from generations before us and three, see it like karma energetically it, it is build up stuff but it's something that is encoded already in our genes in our cells people are exhausted just like the food we are eating is exhausted we are exhausted because of what we are putting in our bodies and energetically around us everything is exhausted and we need to restore that that's why we are here for we are here to break this contract yeah uh, right now in this lifetime if we don't do this in this lifetime it will go even worse and it may lead to something much more horrible unfortunately the spiritual world is teaching us to be as enlightened as fast as possible and uh, and to be up ahead uh, like everyone else but it's not like this you have to be yourself and go as slow as possible to do things right from the beginning otherwise it's like constructing a house on sand instead of making concrete foundation first 
and uh, the book explains exactly this make your house on concrete don't make your house on sand yes and we will continue even more tomorrow so make sure to subscribe put your notifications so that you also receive a notification when exactly we are starting but you don't can forget. also <laughs> you can also go to our uh, the telegram channel um, we also give notifications there in case you don't get notifications from YouTube. Yes, we not always, but we try. <laughs> yes, but especially if it's important. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.